Two weeks ago, the city of TKK wasn't crying wolf, but instead coyote. The town government released a public service announcement about the recent rise of the coyote population. I'm here at one of the 214 developments popping up all over the city. Residents have rumors that these new developments may have something to do with the recent spike in our undomesticated dog. The mayor of TKK, George Shepard, is extremely concerned about the surging coyote crisis. They will travel towards a food source and a water source. Um, we've had a tremendous amount of rain. The lake is at its highest level. It's been in a long time. So they're traveling where the water is and where the lakes and, and where the food is. The residents of TKK also cannot discharge a firearm in the city limits. The town officials offer a less violent way of handling one of the most adaptive species. We encourage you to call 911 um, if you see a um, coyote. Chief of Police Steve Parker assists the community with suggestions to provide protection against these alarming animals. Walk with your animal, small animals at night. Don't just send your animal outside at night. Uh, small children uh, would also, you know, be cautious. Most of the coyote sightings in Tiga Cay have been right here at Hole 17 on the golf course. These coyotes have not had any reported attacks on humans in South Carolina in the past several years. The city is working hard to find a permanent solution for these nocturnal nuisances. Reporting for The Buzz, I'm Zoe. Now back to you, Caroline and David.